everyone welcome back to another video my name is Haley and I'm just now finishing up my first year of dental school at University of Michigan and I wanted to make this video because I know a lot of the pre dentals that are watching my channel are scheduling their college classes right about this time so I'm just gonna read off the classes that I took in undergrad that allowed me to be accepted into dental school of course all these classes that I took are not the reason I was accepted to dental school although I don't really know what reasons related to my admission I can say that having a super unique training transcript isn't the key to get into dental school. There are a lot of other factors considered and I will link some of the videos below that I've talked about ways to help boost your application to dental school. Now if you aren't familiar, dental schools do have prerequisite classes and these vary between different dental schools. For example, some that are maybe more unique to University of Michigan are psychology, sociology, and microbiology as actual prerequisite classes that you must take by the time you matriculate into dental school. Whereas across the board, most dental schools are all gonna require you to take the basic sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, a math, and English, those kinds of classes. So I'm gonna list off which classes I took as a biology major in undergrad, as well as having an entrepreneurship minor. And I'll also make a point to highlight any classes that I think were exceptionally helpful to prepare me for dental school. So we'll jump right in. I did a very traditional four years of undergrad, right from graduating high school through graduating last May, and now I'm completing my first year of dental school. If you do go to Michigan State, which is where I went for undergrad, I was in the Lyman Briggs College, and that's just a residential science college on campus. You could still be a science major through the College of Natural Science, but I was in a separate program, just a little more geared towards pre-professional students and a little bit smaller classes and a little bit more rigorous. All these classes that I mentioned are also going to be linked in a Google Doc below. That way you can check them out if you want to try to find an equivalent at your university or take the exact same ones if you go to Michigan State. Again, this isn't like a golden ticket into dental school. These are just the classes that I personally chose to take that worked in my schedule at the time. I do feel like all these classes that I took paid off pretty well and gave me a good foundation for dental school as well as the dental admissions test that I had to take in undergrad to get accepted into dental school. So I started in the fall of 2016 with 14 credits. The first class was ISS 210, Society and the Individual. So that's just an intro sociology freshman kind of course, but that did cover my sociology prerequisite for Michigan. I also took chemistry one with lab as well as college algebra and trig because I am not the best at math and I tested into college algebra and then I had to go ahead and take calculus and statistics later on. That spring semester, I took human nutrition, calculus one, intro to HPS of science. So you're gonna hear these HPS classes come up a lot. That's basically a hybrid class that we would take in Lyman Briggs that combined reading and writing with either history or sociology. So this was like an introductory writing course for first year students. That same first semester spring, I also took chemistry too with the lab. And because later on in undergrad you're gonna see I didn't load on the credits too heavy during the semesters, I did take summer classes most semesters. So freshman year summer, I took two classes, intro to healthcare and policy. That class was really beneficial actually. It was credits for my minor in entrepreneurship and we were able to do a business plan for a dental practice as well as learn about healthcare coverage around the world and what different healthcare systems look like. And that summer I also took an IAH class called Self, Society, and Technology, which is another intro level history class. And if you want to know what activities I was involved in in undergrad, I'm going to put that video in a card right here as well as link it below. Things like dental assisting and club leadership were all part of my undergrad experience and took up a lot of time with my summers as well as during the academic year. So year two, sophomore year, I took 13 credits in the fall with biology, with lab, organic chemistry, statistics for scientists, the art of starting, which was a business class for my minor, ring of my sophomore year, I took 13 credits, general biology too, with the lab, and then organic chemistry too, and organic chemistry lab. I also took another class for my minor that was called creativity and entrepreneurship, and that one was online, which really helped balance out my schedule. I didn't take any classes that summer after my sophomore year, because that's actually when I took my DAT. Again, I have multiple videos about the DAT and I will link them below for you. So we're already to junior year fall. I took 14 credits. This was a pretty difficult semester for me. I took physics one with lab. That was one of the hardest classes. Both of the physics were one of my worst classes in undergrad. And then I took physiology as well as anatomy in the same semesters. 
And then I also took a class for my minor called Entrepreneurial Marketing, which was again a really nice way to supplement the really heavy science course load. Spring of my junior year, I took only 12 credits. I took the anatomy lab, so we got to do a cadaver lab, which was a really, really great experience. And then I took biochemistry, which is a class that Michigan does look pretty highly on your scores. So I wanted to get an A in that class, and I also wanted to take it before I applied to dental school. That way they could have a good gauge of my hopeful success academically as a dental student. The other two classes I took that semester were medicine and health, a social science class, and then bringing media to market for my minor. I took a ton of credits the summer after my junior year, summer 2019, I actually took 14 credits. That wasn't necessarily planned because I was able to squeeze in a study abroad program that I didn't know I was going to take. So I took more credits than I actually needed to graduate and those happened this summer. But I also took some of my requirements for dental school. Like I said, I had to take introductory psychology to go to dental school here. I took an epidemiology class called Disease and Society. I applied to dental school. I know that's not a class, but that is a big undertaking. And then I went on a study abroad to Australia where we took six credits, two being for research and one being a senior seminar. Now we've made it to senior year of undergrad. These were definitely some of the hardest classes that I took in undergrad, but thankfully by this point in undergrad, I had worked very hard to secure a solid GPA, so I wasn't super stressed if I couldn't get an A in all of these really tough upper level biology classes. One great thing about these classes though, despite being extremely difficult, was their relevance to dental school. Most of these classes we have taken in dental school already our first year, or they keep popping up with all the different sciences. They all kind of intertwine, so everything's related, and most of these classes were extremely helpful. First being in the fall of my senior year, histology with a lab component was incredibly helpful, and that is a very tough class that you're gonna have to adjust to in dental school. It's a whole new set of information and a different way of looking at the body and understanding different components of a histological slide it does take a lot of practice, so if you're able to take a class like that in undergrad, I would highly recommend it. And then I took one of my last um, HPS classes, which again was basically a sociology writing class. And I took immunology, which has been extremely helpful in a class that, although very difficult, I find extremely interesting back in undergrad as well as now in dental school. We took a class called Infection and Immunity, which is basically an immunology class. And the last class I took in the fall of my senior year was Pharmacology of Drug Addiction. In my very last semester of undergrad, I only took 11 credits. That last semester I took Genetics as well as Physics 2 and Physics 2 Lab. If you notice, I took physics one like over a year before that and I did very poorly in the class so that's why instead of taking it physics one one semester physics two the next semester I pushed it back an entire year that way I was hopefully already accepted to dental school and if I got let's say a B or even a C in the class it wouldn't hurt my chances of getting into dental school and B on that application GPA so spring of my senior year I took fundamental genetics as well as microbiology and then also physics 2 and physics 2 lab. So really that's it. That's all of the classes that I took in undergrad. It's a biology major. I don't regret my major or my minor. I think they were both very helpful to prepare me, lay a solid foundation for dental school. I loved my undergrad experience. And again, if you want to hear any more about my undergrad experience or get DAT tips, application tips, I will link my podcast below that has a lot of information about that as well as some helpful YouTube videos. So thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.